Hey everybody, Mark here with Coffee and Toys, bringing you another Masters of the Universe, Masterverse unboxing and review. And today we've got a good one, hot off the presses, hot off the truck. It is, again, of the Masterverse series of figures, the newest deluxe figure in that collection. Actually, one of two new deluxe figures in that collection. And of course, I am talking about the Masterverse New Eternia Ram Man. Let's talk about it. So yeah, we have Ram Man that we're going to be reviewing today, the newest in the Masterverse line of action figures, the new Eternia uh, wave. Uh, him and Clawful are the newest uh, figures of that wave. They actually shipped together to me. I was very excited to get the notification that they were going to be shipping soon. And I said, hey, I got to have these before the Memorial Day break because I... I just couldn't wait. They looked awesome and I really wanted to do a review of them. So be looking out for the Clawful review coming up very soon. But yeah, this Ram Man looks cool. I am glad to be getting a Masterverse version of this figure. And let's shut up about talking about it and actually dig into it right now. All right, here we go. We have Ram Man of the uh, Masters of the Universe Masterverse line of figures. And as you can see at the bottom it is New Eternia Ram Man. And of course, this is a deluxe figure, so it comes in this nice oversized box. Um, some of my complaints about the oversized box period, uh, previously rather, was that there was a lot of empty space. They've done a good job on this one, kind of using that empty space up a little bit more to make it feel more like a deluxe figure. Of course, we have two alternate uh, heads, his axe, a completely different set of armor, and additional hands that really fill out this, uh, this window. Of course, that's not all there is to it. We have uh, some beautiful side art showing Ram Man with his version, his classic version, as well as with the helmet and the alternate style Ram Man. And of course, on the back, we have what, you know, Motu is known for his beautiful artwork. We have Masters of the Universe, New Eternia, original designs inspired by classic concepts. Ram Man, human, human battering ram. The one-man wrecking crew, the hard-headed warrior known as Ram Man, can break down any door, crumble any tower, and even turn a mountain into rubble. For a price, of course. He is untrusting of anyone, but has a reputation as being a man of his word. The battle charger and the last of the stone skulls searches New Eternia for clues to his long-lost lineage. So that is new to me. I don't know if it's new to you guys, but that is a, that is a very cool kind of telling us about his past and what he is looking for in Eternia. Of course, down here we have the cross cell of uh, Merman, Grizzlor, Buzzoff, and Faker, who we have uh, previously reviewed. Make sure you check out that review as well. And then, of course, on the side, we have Ram Man, Human Battering Ram, and we will flip him back here to the front, and let's get this guy out of the package and see what it's all about. Okay, we have Ram Man out of his plastic prison, and wow! This figure is awesome. Um, yeah, this is just just a bulky. I, I should. He's not bulky in the sense of weight. I guess he's actually fairly light. And one of the reasons he's light, and I'll just jump right into it, is that this is a very soft material around a basic leg. It feels like it feels like a standard molded He-Man leg underneath this, with just this rubber around the outside. So it gives a nice illusion that he's a very thick figure, and he is. These are all new arms. Uh, everything you see on this figure is new. And he just, it's a very good looking figure. I mean, the washes are nice. The, the classic, you know, look of Ram Man is nice. And yeah, he's got the uh, standard 30 points of articulation. He's got pinless arms, which is very good. Of course, he can't tell on the knees, but he does have a full range of motion. Um, he does have rocker ankles and an up-down turn. Oh, he actually has a separate bend right there. Wait, does he? Or maybe that's just the knee. It's just the knee. Um, and of course, you know, just looks wonderful. And that head sculpt is beautiful. Wow, just solid figure. He's got a, an ab motion, of course. And I mean, this is a solid figure all around. And uh, he's not, I mean, he's squat, but he's not super squat. He's not as squatty as the vintage uh, Masters of the Universe figure or the modern uh, Origins version. So, of course, he does come with some accessories. He does come with two open hands that can hold his, uh, 
X in whatever hand you choose. Speaking of X, he does come with his classic battle X. Looks very good. I like the, the wear and tear there. They've been putting on these weapons. Shows they've been, had years of combat use. He has his alternate armor, which I believe, if I remember correct, early design showed this version of Ram Man having this armor. Of course, you can see where the uh, ax can clip right on. And then, of course, he comes with alternate heads. We have the more uh, famous, uh, besides the default, where he can actually make his mask together to protect his face. Of course, there's a completely... Uh, I believe the head sculpt that is in there is actually different than the one that is on the figure. But we'll never really know. It's, it's not meant to be taken out. So get a little closer so you can see it. Sorry for jiggling my camera, but there you go. Very cool. Maybe it is. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be the same face sculpt, but it's kind of hard to tell between this one where you can't see his eyebrows and on the other one where you can. And then, of course, he comes with this other head sculpt, which is supposed to be more towards his concept art, where he's got these dark goggles on and a completely different uh, style helmet that actually has little spikes on the end. And then this red piece of, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, the red going around the head is very cool, though, around the, the mask, helmet, I should say. But yeah, that is a very cool head sculpt as well. And so, yeah, that's pretty much what he comes with. So give me a second. I'll get him geared up, and we'll, we'll play around with him and see what we've got going on. Okay, I swapped out the uh, head sculpt for the uh, masked version of Ram Man, as well as putting in his hand that would be able to hold his battle axe. And, of course, you can see... He just looks exactly like you would expect Ram Man to look like. So, very cool. You know, just showing off that you can move this guy around. Now, there is no storage on this version, at least to my knowledge, for him to hold that uh, battle axe. But, yeah, he looks very good in that mode. But let's go ahead and uh, let's get him... Let's just do a quick switch over and put the other gear on him. We will uh, we'll just do it together. So let's uh, temporarily take this out of his hand. And with a quick pop of this, pops right off. And then we have to take off this armor, which I have not previously done, so I am not sure how it actually comes off. Uh, okay. Interesting. Does this armor actually come off? Well, I'm either going to break my figure trying. It looks like it's pegged in there very tight. You know, I don't know if this is meant to come off. Surely the armor doesn't go over top of it. Uh, that's a good question. I can see these pegs in here, and maybe you can too. And that's why I do these, try to do these switches online, so you don't have to worry about the same stuff I'm potentially worrying about. Man, that is in there. If it If it's... Well, interesting. I guess we can try to uh, see if this armor just slides over, and maybe that's it. I, I'm kind of shocked. I thought that, I mean, I guess it could just go right over top of it. It looks like it does. Okay, well, I guess I was mistaken. So we'll slide this in here, and... Uh, Maybe. It's hard to do this around a camera. Okay, there we go. That's really interesting. I didn't think this would go around the other armor, but evidently it does. Which is cool. That's fine. No big whoop. Just makes him a more, like, a, even more of a ram, so to speak. Um, pun not intended. Okay, so we'll put that on there. And okay, there's that. Let's put the alternate head on him, which I still think is very cool. I tell you what, it was hard for me to put that last head on him, but you just have to kind of, it doesn't really give you a pop to let you know it's down. 
But okay, let's put his battle axe back in his hand. And his hand's just, it's very pliable. You can just pop it open and see, perfect. So there we go. We have the more, I don't want to call it classic, but I guess the conceptual art version of Ram Man. And I think that looks really cool. I love how that sets on him. So I figured while we were doing this, we'd do some uh, quick comparisons as well. So let's, let's stand him up as straight as I can make him. And first of all, of course, you probably want to see what he looks like uh, compared against the Origins one. So there you go. He keeps wanting to rock slightly back. Um, so there you can see the clear size difference in these figures. Um, both great figures, but man, this guy just looks awesome. So... Not only do we want to see what he looks like against Origins, we want to see how he scales with the uh, other uh, new Eternia figures. So here is Battle Armor He-Man for comparison. And again, I like how he's still kind of that stubby, stocky feeling, but he's not like half the size of new Eternia He-Man. So they look very good together. I mean, with their axes, those guys are ready to tear down any anything in their path, and they are just... Those guys are going to look awesome together on my plate, on my, uh, I almost said my play set, but I actually mean my shelves. Wish I had more of a new Eternia play set. <laughs> Maybe you guys can make one, Mattel. Um, give me a new Eternia Grayskull. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get uh, Battle Armor He-Man out of the way and square up this guy. And so there we go. There is your review of Masterverse New Eternia Ram Man. What do you guys think of this figure? Is this a pickup for the premium of, uh, price of a deluxe figure, about $35? Um, I say yes. If you want this guy, if you like Ram Man, he comes with a decent loadout. I would highly recommend picking up this figure. I would also highly recommend that you hit the bell icon and subscribe. We are on that march to 500 subscribers. Go ahead and like the video while you're at it. It really helps the channel out. And yeah, if you get subscribed, you get entered into my 500 subscriber giveaway where I'm giving away multiple figures from Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, WWE, who knows what else. I'm giving away at least five prizes, but you have to be a subscriber. And once we hit that 500 subscriber mark, I will be doing a live stream. And anybody that's a subscriber at that point will be entered in for the drawing for one of the five figures. But otherwise, I'm Mark, this is Coffee and Toys, and I will see you later.